My name's Harry Phillips. I study at JMC in Brisbane, and I was recently lucky enough to be involved in the APRA 50 Songs in 5 Days camp. So the APRA 50 Songs in 5 Days is a camp where artists and songwriters and producers from around Australia and some from overseas can all come together and uh, write original songs together in like a co-writing studio environment and basically they have to come up with ideally 50 songs in five days and it's a great networking opportunity and a chance for people to really expand their horizons in terms of their songwriting. My parents were musicians so I kind of always had music around me growing up uh, but for a long time I was a soccer player and I got a really bad injury and I found that I just started songwriting to kind of deal with problems and anxieties that I was having and sort of rediscovered that passion and just kept going with it. So I managed to get a spot at 50 songs in five days because JMC get allocated one spot each year for a student to go. Um, so our head of music here, Sean, put out an email to everybody and said uh, send in a couple of demos, we'll send them through. Um, so I handed them the demos that I had, didn't really think about it too much after that because I thought, no way am I going to get it. Um, but then, yeah, one day they just called me into the office and said, said I got the spot. Uh, some of the skills I learned in my time at 50 Songs is um, like how to get a song out quickly. You know, you're in a group of people you've never met before. And um, much like in some parts of the industry, they're like, okay, we need a demo by the end of the day. And so you've got to like right, 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 and get this song out, and melodies, and um, clever lyrics, and everything, but it's got to be done, you know, real quick. Um, so that was cool. Uh, another big part of it is, like, getting pushed out of your comfort zone. I think I probably wrote songs that I would never have written on my own, because it was just a totally different genre. Uh, so that was very cool as well. 50 Songs benefited me as a songwriter because it introduced me to a lot of role models that I could aim for in terms of my songwriting and sort of showed me where that bar was. It also put me around people who gave me a lot of great advice in terms of how to improve my songwriting, uh, you know, lyrically, melodically, or like in every aspect, I think I had different people saying, oh, this could be better, this could be better, and that was awesome. Yeah, I guess working with like the kind of talented people that were at the camp, it was a bit daunting at first, but everybody was so nice. Um, very professional um, and so skilled at what they did too so somebody had just come up with like a great lyric idea just on the spot or somebody had like get this great track together they just produced in like a couple of minutes you know and it was kind of uh, awe inspiring actually I guess for me as a songwriter I'm gonna uh, continue studying at JMC um, and learning a lot here um, but I also want to record as many of my originals as I can and I want to continue co-writing a lot because I found it hugely beneficial um, and also I've been doing a lot of gigs lately I want to continue with that and keep getting my experience up. Probably one of my favourite memories was when uh, Chris Martin from Coldplay was at the studios and then he gave us free tickets to the Coldplay concert and the after party that night that was pretty cool. I would say uh, write as much as you can and keep at it, even if your writing's rubbish, it does get better. And co-write as much as possible, and don't be afraid to share your songs with people, because even if they don't like it, at least they can give you feedback on how to make it better.